I see you both as infrequently as possible. So, you know, my dad's always on business trips overseas. I don't know where you are. Like, as I said, I was, for new folks coming in, what I said to Mark was, we have, we have a long, long work history together. We go back eight years. Eight years. Oh, good. The chat is going great. That's yeah, everyone, there's a that, chat. That's that is not creepy. Mark just appears when he wants to. He's serious like that, Tricia says. I agree. Mm -hmm. But I was just saying, we've had all these Rivendell meetings, but I've never gone one on one with Mark to be like, how has your quarantine been? How have you been spending your time? Uh, mostly, I. I I sit in the corner and wait for the next Zoom meeting. You sit in the corner of yeah. what? My, my abode. You sit in the corner of your abode. Yeah. And you wait walk. for the next Zoom meeting. Yeah. Do you do anything in the corner? No. Do you look at the at the no. corner? I just focus oh. on. I just focus on the next Zoom meeting I have to attend. Yeah. That's what a fascinating. That's my life. For you. That's my life these days. So exciting. Yeah. My other question was, oh, this is so great. Oh, now I can there see it. the book piece. There it is. That yeah, there it is. Did. It's always there. I wake up to myself. What was the name Sorry. of the What? What was the name of the again? Uh, Stepping on Wolves. Or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, look at all. Okay, so I'm just looking at the chat right now. We've got some people in Vermont. We've got... Vermont. Kristen is in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. This is amazing. If you can access the chat, if it's not open for you, it's in the bottom center. That's amazing. Texas, Rogers Park. That's mm. far away. That is. I mean, that, that is, is out there. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No. Um, I love Rogers Park. I don't think where so. are you, Mark? I don't even know where you live. Hmm? I'm Where in you, uh, the Upper Peninsula. In the Upper Peninsula. I, uh, I commute for, for a meeting. You okay. commute to the, your microphone? No, I'm going to use it right now. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm in the West Loop, um, which is so funny because the West Loop, when I was growing up, because I grew up in the West Loop, yeah. nobody lived here. It was all warehouses, and I was the only kid. And now it's a lot of very snotty millennials, and I feel like that's unfair. But it's kind of probably like River North. Not to hate on the West Loop or River North. There's great restaurants in those places. But that's where all the millennials flock to. And I just, I'm a millennial sometimes, because I work with people of, you know, of Mark's generation, which I don't, I don't keep track of, of, of which generation he's a part of. He's been there since 1989, actually. See? Okay. Tanya remembers the old West Loop. Yeah. Lisa Johnson moved to the West Loop in 1989. That's before I lived in the West Loop. That's very impressive. Tara says, what exactly is Mark's generation? And that, I think we shouldn't answer that because- That's none of your business, Tara. We just might, okay, Jackie, hi, Jackie is in the south suburbs of Chicago. That's, that's pretty cool. So my question for you, Mark, because yeah. I found that quarantine for me most vitally was a time of organizing and throwing things away that I didn't need like organizing I should have done 10 years ago that is sad. of my stuff. That is and then also the purchasing of items that perhaps I didn't need, perhaps to make like. life yeah. easier. Hoarding and tendencies, that I like, yeah. What, what tendencies? Hoarding. Hoarding tendencies. No, I did the opposite of that. I like, oh, see, I know. see this bookshelf? Yeah. I got this during the quarantine. Uncluttered. This place called Home Depot. I don't. It's a depot for the home, apparently. Um. So that, like, that's one thing I bought. I bought wireless headphones, and I just, I think my ears are very strangely shaped because they don't 
would stay in my ears. You probably don't know what headphones are. I'm so sorry that I brought this up. I'm so sorry. This is no this is really embarrassing for you. This is kind of awkward. Yeah. Um, I did get for the first time in my life a to-go like hot beverage mug. It's gonna change your life. I think it will. I'm I'm very big into tea. Mm -hmm. Um, what else did I buy during this? Lots of candles. There's a lot of self-care. Actually, there is a lot of self-care in one of our silent au auction packages, which we will get to, which mm -hmm. is going to be great. So, Mark, my question for you is, before we kick things off, this is my, this is my last question. Yeah. What is the craziest thing you ordered from the internet during quarantine? Uh, a bag of basmati rice. Is that the first uh, time you ever made rice? That's pretty uh, good. Yeah. That's pretty good. How about you? Did it taste good? What did you eat it with? I love basmati. You love basmati? Love what did you eat it with? Or did you just have basmati rice? Oh, it was a huge bag. So, you know, it's, it's been around for a variety of years. Okay, so in the chat, if people want to post the coolest thing or the craziest thing or the most normal thing that you bought during quarantine, you're, you're more than welcome. But we, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, it's, it's about 7.10, we've given everybody like 10 minutes to filter in here. I, I think, we can, I think we can start this thing off. Oh no. Oh no. Are Which, you ready, Mark? All right, if you insist. Mark, I don't know why you're feeling insecure. Your hat is so much better than mine. I mean, mine is a, a Trinity University hat backwards. Nothing wrong with that. I have a cool black cowboy hat. Uh, so, but you know what? Don Imus. Ooh, we've got some, we got some good responses here. Hmm. Six pounds of perfect popcorn. Pantry moth traps from Tara Mallon, of course. Mm -hmm. A lot of dresses. We've got a 64 ounce container of pretzels. I really love that we're all living our best lives right now. I think that's great. And we're gonna continue that by going through our program and kicking off the 2020 Blue Jean Ball, Howdy From Home. This is it folks, this is the Rivendell kickoff, not to be confused with the NFL kickoff, which happened the other night. Roger Goodell called us and asked us to uh, to change our date, uh, move it to a, a later date so that we didn't uh, conflict with the National Football League, and we did that. And yeah, we knew that everyone would watch our kickoff instead of the NFL, so we were being very considerate of them. Right. Planning. And uh, you got Roger. I, I negotiated with him. He's a shrewd negotiator, for one thing, and then and he's also very cheap. Um, so I was asking for... Uh, millions of, of dollars but he, he bought one raffle ticket so that's what we got in exchange but hey better than nothing it is it yeah. is okay so before we kick this thing off with our official theme song we do have a, an official theme song by jane baxter miller oh, we're gonna say happy birthday to our literary manager lisa oh. and andrea oh my goodness wait it's tony it's Tony Churchill's birthday, who's running. Happy birthday? There's so many birthdays, September 12th. Wow, a lot of people were getting busy in January of those years is what I'm thinking. Wow. A lot of September birthdays. It's like everyone's, oh, it's a new year. Oh, my New Year's resolution is well, Yeah, all right. Apparently. Are you ready? All right, yes, let's take it away. <laughs> Jane Baxter Miller. Boom. Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's had from home. Even though we ain't together, we ain't alone. It's Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's howdy, howdy from home. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy from a safe distance. Howdy. Howdy, y'all. 
Howdy, partners. Howdy from home, wherever that may be. Howdy from home. Howdy, everybody. Hey there. Howdy. Welcome. Howdy. Welcome. So glad you're here. We're here to say howdy. Howdy from home. A howdy from home with my friend Swanee. Howdy. Hey, y'all. Howdy, folks. Howdy. 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 My name is Tara Mount, and I'm the artistic director at Rivendell Theater Ensemble, and I am delighted to welcome you to Howdy from Home Week. All this week on our website, you'll be able to view our silent auction and bid on some great packages. You can be part of our Fund an Artist program, and most importantly, you'll be able to vote for your favorite ensemble member to get a pie in their face. And then join us next Saturday at 8 p.m. Central Time on a Zoom for the celebratory rap party where I'm going to tell you all about what we've been up to over these last couple of months during the pause. There may be a pandemic and the theater doors may be shut, but we're still hard at work at Rivendell amplifying women's voices. So join us next Saturday, won't you? Hey, you want to ride? There's room. Climb aboard. See you there. some good howdies. Yeehaw! Wow, there's so many horses in that video. It's My like goodness. it's like the theater company was named after like a, a riding academy or something. It's pretty <laughs> wild. Like it. And it's so funny because there's a package in our silent auction that allows you to stay at Rivendell Riding Academy where you saw Tara riding. So but we'll get to that later. What we are gonna do is give you a tour of our Audi from Home website on Give Grove. Give Grove? Give Grove. It's givegrove.com oh, slash Audi 2020. Look at that website. I'm gonna a even lot of smart people that. put that one oh, together. Oh wow, isn't that a great shade of oh, green? Beautiful. Green, that was my um, childhood bedroom color. That's yeah. beautiful. And right it, here over there on the right side, that's for, uh, you know, if you if you don't wish to attend the party, or if you're shy, or if you're antisocial, you just want to. Antisocial, I think, is what they say. Yeah. No, no, they say you want to get introverted. Introverted yeah. is what they say nowadays. That's okay. A couple of clicks, you're in, you're out. You don't end up on Instagram or Facebook or on you Zoom. You can also donate if you're an extrovert. You can donate if you're an introverted extrovert. You can donate. Rivendell, yeah, Rivendell's a big tent. Oh, we're, wide, yeah. we're, we're, we're a wide umbrella. We welcome them all in. Very much. Types of, of all kinds. Oh, oh, absolutely. So this is our home page. And there's a picture there on the right, Howdy from Home, of a bunch of ensemble members. Yeah, and are. I'm not in the picture. No, I don't I'm think not. Mark either. But no. I've gotten over being better only, about that with my friends. Only the most home. beautiful list. Well, yeah, actually, that's that's a good point. That's a yeah. actually very harsh truth to yep. hit with right now. But you're yep. actually, yeah, our most attractive ensemble members are there mm -hmm. in the Howdy from Home photo. But, okay, so you can donate on the right at any time, as small or as large of a sum as you want. Right. And now, look at that. And if you scroll down, you can see our little schedule there. Howdy from Home, we're doing our kickoff party right now. Kickoff. We have the silent auction and more happening from now to the 19th, which it's is our silent. Wedding. So if you go on, if you click on that silent auction, you will not, you can listen, but you will not hear an auction either because that's it's very, silent. That's the silent, oh wow. Oh, that's it's like being at a golf tournament. That is, wow, look at very that. There's silent. a seed dray right there. We got some pie. There's oh, a little look trumpet. Look at those in pictures. Ooh. A charming cottage getaway in Union Pier, I believe. Speaking of pictures, uh, the uh, Brave Lux. So you can get your picture. Brave Lux? Is, is that a Lux that's brave? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, and, look uh, at that. Artist portrait 
record and headshot session. You will have the funnest Shoot. time of your life getting your headshot done with is that Joe with, Mazza. Uh, is that with Mr. Joe Mazza? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Nobody. Yeah, he, I mean, talk about energy right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, he if you're sitting at home bored and you want some energy, Joe Mazza. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to bid on that. I got to be honest with you. I need some new headshots. I, after putting on the COVID-19, I think I probably look a little different. I got to get some new headshots. It's taken a toll on all of us. It really has affected so, us in different yeah, ways. There will be some hot and heavy uh, bidding on for the Brave Lux. Right? And by the way, the auction is officially open at givegroup.com slash howdy2020. Wow, don't get, don't get stampeded. So one thing I want to highlight that I was talking about before yes. is the Clinton Corners package. The what? The Clinton Corners pack. Clinton oh, Corners, New yeah. York, which is near Poughkeepsie because I mm -hmm. went there once for oh. Keith and Sarah's wedding. That is a stay at Rivendell Writing Academy, the titular writing academy of our theater company. What did you just say? The titular. I mean, you it, watch it, it, your it, language, young man. Titillating lady. word. It's a titillating word. Um, but you could learn how to ride horses. You get riding lessons. You get food. You get a stay at a beautiful ranch in upstate New York. If no one actually wants to be in Manhattan right now, but you do want to be in upstate New York. If it's a titular horse, I believe it's called a mare. That's true. I will inquire about whether or not it's a mare. What's the, what's what's a gentleman horse called? If it's a mare, it's, That'd be a stallion. I'd be a mare and a stallion. Yeah. The things you learn on a Zoom with Mark Ulrich. So, I mean, that's one of the many things I mean, we've got jewelry, we've got self-care packages, oh, private yeah. virtual salsa lessons. I mean, that's just, if you have a variety, it's endless. Dancing. So, oh, the self-care, yes, there's the self-care package. Self-care package. I mean, I think there. we all deserve a massage, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all having- From our very own Janice Pytel. Our very, very own Janice Pytel, the wonderful very costume designer. Mm-hmm. Who's been making masks too? That's right. So we've got all kinds you can of wear a, items. You can wear a Janice Pytel mask while you're getting a massage. From Janice Pytel. Janice Pytel. I mean, that's pretty meta, right? Uh -huh. So that's yeah. givegrove.com slash howdy2020, and you can click on, yeah. the, on the silent auction. If you want to comment in the chat what looks the cool, I like the coffee lovers package. I've been getting into coffee this oh year. It's nice to have a little buzz. If life's not giving you a buzz, you can have a some Valentine right on it. Your buzz. A Valentine of bubbles. There you go. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. So that's the silent auction section of our Give You're going to want to check that out, folks. You are going to want to check that out. All week long. And also, you can get a notification. You can put in your maximum bid for the object and get notifications until it goes over that. So once you don't want to pay for it anymore, you can stop getting notifications. It's pretty great. See how that works. Give Grove. Give Grove. It's the best Grove there is. People who set so, this up very small. So next, just to the right there, on the little, that we're encircling with our little handy mm -hmm. little finger. Yes. Yeah, put it. an artist to work. You know what that is? I don't okay, know what an artist working looks like. So I know this because this, this, from, this comes from years of experience of working at Rivendell. Okay. Uh, when an artist comes to Rivendell like, and, and applies for, say, uh, a, a job as a, uh, or has a, an interview for a job uh, as a designer or a director, mm -hmm. or, or when a, 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 an actor comes in and auditions. Yes. Um, Frequently, what will happen is uh, afterwards we will hand them a, a bucket and a pail and have them clean, clean the bathroom. And that, we put an artist to work immediately. That is what we do. Are we have them refill the paper towel dispensers? Right. We put we an artist to repair. Work. We have them refill the soap dispensers. That's what it means. That's creative work because, I mean, you can always make things more efficient and you got to be creative about it, you know? Right. So that's what being that's what has always done that. But really what what does putting an artist to work mean? 
the, the money that goes to these artists directly supports us supports our artists. We're basically building a nest egg to put our artists to work as soon as possible, whenever it's safe, to, to do live theater, which we don't know when that will be. But if you tune in on the 19th, you will find out what we've been up to when we can't do live theater, which is some pretty zesty stuff. Yeah. Um, we've, got but, some, we've got some uh, great artists uh, on this display here. Let's go do, back, to, no, go back to the top here. Who is that in the middle there? Is that, that a director? Lena, oh, Lena Wertmuller? That is Gordon. Gordon. I, I, believe it, I believe it's Lena Wertmuller who fabulous. Rivendell gets some great directors. You know, yes, we do. We yeah. do, Mark. We really do. But this happens to be Hallie Gordon, who is I mean, the reason that I know you because she directed Book Thief, which we talked about, did, did. in which you played my adopted, possibly real father. Oh, okay. And Hallie is one of the most brilliant directors anywhere. Put I, this woman to work. Yeah, exactly. She's an artist. Put her to work. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Who else do we have there? Oh, so many. Oh, yeah. We've got Toy. Toy Diorio. There, there she is, sound design. She works all over the country, this woman. More than uh, anybody I know. But is she, you know? She makes sounds. All kinds of sounds. That's what a sound designer does. Purple sounds. I've never heard sounds quite like that. No. Yeah. Never, never quite like toys. No. Fabulous. Put her to work. Who else can we put to work? Jamie. Jamie lives out in, this is our lighting designer, Jamie. She lives out in uh, California, I believe. And uh, so not only do they have the, the COVID, but they have the wildfires. So uh, she's really got a lot to contend with. Yeah, Jamie, I think the Jamie, more- we miss, you. we miss you and we hope you, your, your, your air quality is okay out there. Put her to work. The more natural disasters you have, the more work as an artist you should get. Right. I you. mean, that's what I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, talent's important too, but all these people are so talented. Down here on the bottom, Trisha, Trisha Hooper, our fabulous, you will recognize her if you've ever bought a ticket. She's our box office manager, and she, you know, she hasn't sold a ticket in a long time. Um, and right next to her is her boyfriend, um, Eric Slater, who has, as you can tell, he's really taking a hit. Yeah, and that picture, he's definitely aged a bit since so the quarantine has started. Come a bit stone needs your help. This man Eric, needs your help. She needs a lot of help. Go ahead yeah. and support. That's where you guys come in. Yeah, that's where you come in. Mm -hmm. Make him real again. And I think there might be one more we need to look at. Just, okay. yeah, this gentleman right down here at the bottom, Tony, that is uh, Tony Churchill. Uh, yeah, our digital content producer. And it was I, I love this because he, he gave us his prom picture, which is, you know, thank you, Tony. That's, that's really lovely. It's great. Tony happens to actually be running this whole thing and showing yeah, you all I, of this right now. In mind, he is the man behind the curtain. Yeah. And he told us that if we gave him praise that he would end this, but it is still going. So we praise I you, Tony. Okay. We praise you. We praise you endlessly. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All right. That was so a lot moving of, right along. But all of these artists. I mean, all of these, the, all these artists are amazing. I mean, amazing. They make Rivendell what Rivendell is. Oh my God. Putting women's work up on the stage. That's what it's all about. So, the, okay, the next thing is the huh. voting for a pie in the face. I mean, this is like night classic 90s, a like Nickelodeon slime yeah. entertainment here right now for my, for my fellow. Or as the French would say, tart au visage. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds convincing. Tarte au visage. Well, it, it, you have a good more dramatic accent. In, in I don't French. know what you're saying. Always more dramatic in French. So basically, it's $5 a vote. And whoever here that you want to see get a pie in their face in a follow-up video after the 19th, you have the next week to vote on this. Yeah. Cat painter right there. Pie in the face, uh, just just based on her hair. Okay. I mean, doesn't she like? Come on, man. Yes, Irvin. Frizzing. You look like you're ready for a pie in the face. Your eyes are closed. 
she's, uh, I mean, this she's woman down here with the, with the shades on, that's Karen Black, fabulous actress, Hollywood actress. Mm -hmm. uh, and right next to her, Keith Kupfer, a founding member. Yeah, let's wait. Let's kick on. Let's let's click on some of these, okay? Because I think oh, yeah, 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 these yeah. people wanted to vouch for why they should be pie in the face. You don't really want to put a pie in my face. My daughter just gave me a makeover, and it will definitely smudge my smoky eye. Yeah. Anybody, any founding uh, member who wears that much lipstick has to get a pie in the face. I agree. Sorry, Keith. Does it create a beautifully pink, like whipped cream? Yeah. And here she is again. This kid down here who uh, she's been hanging around the theater for years. We don't know like who for she is. all of her existence. It's wild. Teens. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But I don't know. I want to be careful about the teens of today. I don't know. But I think sometimes so give her a pie in the face. you need to learn resilience and to I come know. back from that pie in the face. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, let's let's go to Kristen, Kristen Osborne, Osborne, another one who deserves a pie in the face. I mean, look at that face. You got to okay. read Kristen Osborne's Bible. Why put a pie in my face? In the year 1972, my mom was cursed in a dark forest by an evil magical troll. That's the true. troll said, "I am troll. Your family shall be cursed until the youngest of your offspring receives a pie in the face." As part of a fundraising effort for Rivendell Theater Ensemble in the year 2020, that has been forced into a digital format due to a global pandemic and widespread mayhem. And you look, see? here we are. Help. Please, she, troll is coming. God, she, I mean, she makes good points. She deserves a vote. She makes some really good points. But let me just direct you to this Ray Gray. I don't know. That like she has a pie in the face. Very manufactured. She already has a pie in the face. Oh, she just really, really likes pie. You know what? I respect that. I think you should follow your passions. You think so? So huh? vote on who you want to get pied in the face, and then you're going to see a follow-up follow-up video of people getting pied in the face. That's gonna be great. Okay, so next up on our Give Grove website yes. is the 50-50 raffle. Yeah. If we've been to a baseball game, we know what this is. If you buy one raffle ticket, it's 20 bucks. Three tickets, 50 bucks. And then you end up splitting the pot. So the more people who donate, the more money you get at the end of it. It's like an investment. It's so smart. And I bet the pot's gonna be huge. A 50-50 raffle. See, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, referring to a, a, a grapefruit uh, wine flavored beverage. Soda. Like 50% grapefruit, 50% lime? I think that's what it is. That, that will, you will get some, yeah. That's what I, that actually I think sounds pretty good to me. I think we should hit I up LaCroix or LaCroix I think so. and come up with a grapefruit lime flavor because, yeah. I mean, the pample mousse, I love it. It's my fave. Uh-huh. Don't crunch on us again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. mousse lime. I think that's great. Uh-huh. So, guys, okay, so if we go back to our home on the givegrove.com slash howdy2020. Very attractive. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have an FAQ section at the bottom. I love the FAQ know. section. Can I tell I you do why too. I love the FAQ That's section? That's how I find out everything. Right in there. Time, Any these, questions. In these troubled times where you feel alone and, and, and depressed. You've got you a lot of them, but You go to the FAQ section. You, you will do. find that there are people like you. They have questions. There are other people who don't have answers. Right. They're Maybe none of us do. Searching. They're searching just like you. And the most so I find, I, yeah, I find the FAQ section informative, but also reassuring. That's because you're humble. The most humble of us go to the FAQ because we know it's okay to have questions and not know all the answers. Okay, so if you go back to the home page, you'll figure out, I mean, you'll see that you can register for the rap party and celebration on September 19th, which Mark and I are co-hosting live from Rivendell Theater. It's gonna be so exciting. We're gonna do a Bourbon Daisy tutorial. There is going to be pie eating. There is going to be so much magic. Um, when, you say, when you say rap party, doesn't that just sound potentially salacious. 
I think I, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm remembering some Rivendell parties way uh, back in my, you know, in my foggy I past. think if you remember them, you're not doing it right. I know, uh, clearly. But there were some rap parties at Rivendell back in the old days that could have been called unwrap parties, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I think unwrap party is a great name because we're going to... We're gonna have a pretty good time. We're gonna unwrap some stuff. Yeah. One thing that we're going to unwrap is this amazing offer. You can order dinner and drinks on the 19th while we're all zooming in together from Amazing Edibles. Amazing so, Edibles. If you not only pay, not only are these not only are these things amazing, but the edibles can be eaten. I mean. <laughs> Anything with the word edibles in it, you know it's gonna be good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I mean, no matter what you're eating at the end of the day. That's right. Um, so if you order by Wednesday, you'll get your meal delivered on the 19th between noon and four. And actually, when you do this, you're entering yourself to win a free meal on the night of our big party. So that's definitely a possibility. But you can also order a meal that you pay for and you can get so many delicious things. I looked at that. You can get, you've got taco options. You've got flatbread options. You've got cocktail options. You've got you do. popcorn options. Snacks, oh, yeah. jello shots. Delicious. Oh, and there's also cocktail kits. Mm -hmm. You can get a Paloma which is like a delicious grapefruit margarita situation. Oh, look at that. It's right there. And you can also get the, the cocktail that Mark and I will be showing you how to make on the 19th. You can get that cocktail kit, which is a bourbon daisy. You will be mixologizing. You will be mixologizing. What a mm -hmm. great word. So that's what happens if you register for the 19th. You can have so much fun. You can zoom into our party. I mean, it's going to be one be there, of the best folks. nights of your this 2020. Was the kickoff. This was the kickoff. This is just we have a week. We have a week of excitement ahead of us. We really do. We have, when I say week, I mean, I mean Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. By Friday, the excitement is almost, almost too much to handle. Mark is so well educated. He knows all the days of the week. Yeah. You can and learn when more when from Mark. about a week of excitement, they mean all seven days. All oh, seven days, 24 seven. All right, okay, so last but not least, our biggest draw for the 19th is Miss Jane Baxter Miller, yeah. a very talented musician who I'm gonna let Mark talk about because one of the first shows I saw at Rivendell, well, actually the first show in our current space was a two person show. I mean, debatably with Mark and Jane in it. So Mark, take it right. away. Tell us about and Jane. And the great Will Krause playing the dead kid. And the great Will Krause playing the, the boy. Yes. Well, uh, uh, Jane Baxter Miller, uh, who will be our uh, musical entertainment for the evening of the 19th. The first show I did with Jane, uh, she was playing, uh, it was a play called Silence. Uh, not silent auction, silence. Uh, and uh, she uh, was the French, she was a French princess. And uh, she looked so much like a princess. And uh, she was a uh, French uh, perfume. She smelled like a princess. And she was forced to marry an Englishman, an English king who uh, didn't smell very good. And and uh, was, was yeah, uh, and so they cast me. Um, but I, since then, I have always thought of her as a princess. And you will too when you hear her sing. And when you why are you her, doing this in a French accent, man? Sorry, I'm eating she pie. Was a, she was a that is American wee pie you are eating. Okay. The, was Jane in that? Uh, yes, she was. As a matter of fact. Okay. That was a great show. Yeah. So, uh, Jane, so see high, Jane Baxter Miller, along with her uh, very talented husband on the upright bass, or contrabass, uh, Kent Kessler, the incomparable Kent Kessler. Do not miss it. 
Have I wet your appetite? Nah. You don't want to miss this, okay? Mm. The 19th, register for it today, okay? Bye. Do it now. Get some food, get some cocktail. <laughs> want to be great. All right, take it away, Jane. She's not taking it away. She's bashful. There she is! Yes! Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's had it from home. Even though we ain't together, we ain't alone. It's Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's had it, had it from home. something else that jane baxter miller oh she is real good i can't She's wait so till good. next week i know i'm so excited for next saturday so many things are gonna happen it'll be so good i'm gonna mm -hmm. be we're, we're gonna be wearing something different but it'll still be cowboy theme it's gonna be so great all right so now that we have heard from miss jane baxter miller i feel like we should send this off to our uh, founder and artistic director, Miss Tara Mallon, who's actually in Vermont, of all places, like this very small state over there on the east. Tara, do you want to take it away? Uh, well, I, I could take it away. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here. I am, uh, I'm sitting up in a hotel in Woodstock, Vermont. My daughter, Catherine, is riding in a horse trials up here, and I spent the entire day uh, at the showgrounds and I forgot to put on sunscreen. I don't know if you can tell how I have a neat little mask thing. Um, next week is gonna be so great, y'all. Make sure you get online and, and vote on that silent auction and vote on who you want uh, to see get a pie in their face. Help us keep putting women front and center. And um, I can't wait to see you all. I miss everybody tremendously, and even though we're apart, it's going to be really great to all be on the same page for just a little bit. So I miss you, I love you, and I'll see you the 19th. Yes, I, I am red, Dylan. I am red. I'm really sunburned. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, and um, are we all going to sing that, that Jane Baxter Miller song together? Are we ready? You ready, Ray? Ray? Go for it. Come on. Oh, you practiced it. I thought Let's you practiced it, Tony. I didn't practice anything. Well, oh, oh, maybe we just, here we got to hear it again. Yes. <laughs> Everybody sing along. Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's had it from home. Even though we ain't together, we ain't alone. It's Rivendell, 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 Rivendell's had it, had it from home. Oh my goodness. See y'all on the 19th. Bye see y'all on the 19th. Can't wait to see ya. Bye. Bye.